developing right now. A Charlotte, a Charlotte track coach has been arrested and is now facing several charges after being accused of sexually assaulting student athletes he trained. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre live in Uptown right now with more on what she's learned in the case. Jess? Yes, well, CMPD says a woman came forward and says her former track coach sexually assaulted her multiple times, more than a dozen times, they say, when she was a child and a client. And during the investigation after her report, more victims were found. Now, look at your screen right now. This is 37-year-old Desmar Lockhart facing several charges, including statutory rape of a child 15 or younger. CMPD says his victims were all young girls at the time, ages 11, 14, and 15 years old. Police say Lockhart is not affiliated with any school and worked independently. He owns Lock Nation Athletics and has a travel track team. Now, according to a police report filed earlier this month, this Northwest Charlotte home, which is also listed as Lockhart's address, is at at least one location where the assaults took place. The victim says he had a weight room in his home and she would go to his home for private trainings where he sexually assaulted her. The warrant for his arrest details accounts from another victim who shared that Lockhart used a fake Snapchat account to communicate with her. She says that after a workout, he offered her a massage and then assaulted her. The third. He used his position of power as a track coach to keep her from coming forward by making it seem as though he was the only one who can ensure her success in the sport. The strength the victim showed by coming forward and speaking with our detectives allowed us to further investigate and pursue this case. Now, back in 2017, Lockhart was charged with felony indecent exposure, an incident that involved a minor at a Cabarrus County grocery store. Charges that Lockhart was able to keep hidden from parents because he worked independently, where background checks are not necessarily required. Now, CMPD believes there may be more victims out there and asking anyone with information to come forward. Live in Uptown, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte. All right, thank you, Jesse, for bringing that story to light.